Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And what I'm going to do today is a fun little project. So I'm, I managed to get hold of some of these little tiny plastic mushrooms. And I really like them. I think they're very, very cute. So I want to make something for my goddaughter. And what I'm going to make is I'm going to make a little scene with some... Not a scene as in I'm going to go and chuck me toys out of my pram. But a little scene as in I'm going to put some lights in the bottom of this. I'm going to pour some clear resin. Then I'm going to put the mushrooms in, a little bit of moss, some grass. And then I'm going to make a little mushroom scene around it. I'm also going to make out of polymer clay. So it looks like uh, a little fairy house is under the mushrooms. So stick around to see how this project comes out. I, mean, I think it's going to be a fun one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And ring my bell. Ding, ding, ding. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. So you get notified when my future videos come out. I will leave links to everything that I've used in the description below so you can easily get hold of them. And all you need to do is click the show more button and it'll open up the description. So I'm just warming up my clay and getting that ready to be nice and warm because I want to get that baked and all cooled down and painted before I go ahead and do anything else. All I'm doing here is I'm just prepping the base with the lights in. I've mixed my resin up. I've used a resin colour, shallow casting resin. I will link that in the description and then I'll leave this to cure up for 24 hours. Well the base of this is all cured up nicely, nicely now and all I need to do is just check that my lights still work and they do still work and I'm going to put another layer on the top of that of resin and I'm going to also put a bit of this fake moss in it and probably a little bit of this fake grass as well to give it a more of a natural look. So I'm popping this fake moss into my resin. I think it gives a better coverage doing it like this rather than pouring it over the fake moss and adding my fake grass. I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members. Without you guys and the people that buy me coffees, there's no way I could keep running this channel. I've just added a little bit of a bronze mica powder in here as well to give it a bit of a colour. Just giving it a stir in and then splodging that into the mould on top of that cure resin. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you and to get onto April's coffee board, then the link for that is in the description. Really is appreciated. Thank you very much. I'm just scattering over a little bit of the fake grass and then I'll leave it to cure up. This is all cured up nicely now, so I just need to take it out of its mould. And I really am loving how this is starting to look. <laughs> I can't wait to show you the little bits I made for it. <laughs> so there we go. And it's when it lights up, it is going to light up, but it's going to be a very soft light from underneath. And that's how I kind of wanted that to be. I ended up making my three little houses out of polymer clay and painting them, as I said I would. But I also made some little paths for them. And I really like this. And this, I bet this is not going to be a popular video. This is probably one that only a few are going to watch. But I've really enjoyed doing this project so far. And I also made, a teeny weeny itsy bitsy little washing line i think that's so cute so what i need to do now is i need to pop the houses on here and then pop the paths on them and i'm also going to put the little mushrooms on here as well i was thinking of doing like a mushroom and then a little house i've done all the houses differently something like that little mushroom there, house there, and then going from that. And all I'm going to use for those is a glue gun and pop them on. All I'm going to do, now my glue is hot, is stick some glue on the bottom of my mushroom. And then I'm going to stick that down where I want it. And then I'm going to have a little house beside it, as if it's part and parcel of that mushroom use the good old hot glue gun to stick that down pop his little path on path on 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 <laughs> i'm loving this it's so cute like i said this won't be a popular video but you could help it out by sharing it as much as you can on any sites or anywhere that you want to share it with friends and like it and then it might do okay but this was a passionate piece of work really more than anything and i thought i'd share it with you and I love the way that the moss and the fake grass has come out on it as well. I think that looks really cute. I think that's my little favourite house. 
And the little washing line is just going to go there. That was so fiddly to make. Well, this is all finished now, and I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I think it's come out really, really cute. And I think my little goddaughter is going to love it. If you'd like to be on my coffee board for April, then the link to buy me a coffee is in the description below. Or alternatively, if you'd like to become a member and benefit from all the additional perks of being a member, then that link is in the description as, as well. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Ring that as well so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next. And I look forward to seeing you in that one. Enjoy your resin. Take care. Bye.